Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today we are in LA. I'm doing a week-long vlog with my sister Candace. Hey! I'm really excited that Candace is here because she's never been to LA and she hasn't been on an airplane in 10 years. Yeah, I'm deprived of airplane rides. It was crazy like going on the plane when we were taking off. She was like, oh my gosh, you know, I like... I put my arms up. <laughs> Ew! Uh, I almost expected you to clap when we landed, but... Okay, I thought about it. I would have stopped lie. you. I really would have stopped you. I should have done it. Starting at the beginning, on day one, we went to the airport and checked in, walked around looking for food, and of course there was nothing good or open, really. We got on the plane, and this was before people weren't supposed to travel, but fewer people were on this plane, so we still sat far away from everyone, just in case. I got some red wine for the antioxidants, of course, and Candace got some OJ, great for her immune system. We listened to podcasts and watched shows before falling asleep, and then about an hour after the flight, we arrived at our hotel at like 3 a.m. Now back to day two. Anyway, so right now we are about to take some pictures of our outfits. Um, you'll see them on Instagram, follow us. This is hers, this is mine. We spent the first half of the day getting ready for the Mulan premiere and listened to music and hung out while taking our time to get ready. And the venue was right down the street from where we were staying, so that was very convenient. We are at the world premiere of Mulan. Yes, we are. It's about to start. It's very excited. Turn it around. How? What? Stop. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you ready to walk the carpet, Candace? Girl, you know what? <laughs> Once we were checked in, we saw a bunch of people being photographed on the red carpet, including actors, YouTubers, celebrities, and my YouTube arch nemesis, but we're not gonna talk about that. My handler, I guess, is what they call it, stood next to me with a sign saying my name for the photographers to know, and one of them let me get a photo with Candace. So I looked it up a day later and I found the photos, and these are them. I think they turned out really well, and you can't even tell that the heels made my right foot bleed. And this was the last time we were allowed to have our phones before they were locked away and the movie started. The movie just ended. It was amazing. Um, we're not allowed to bring cameras here, and they like took our phones away, so can't really show you anything, obviously. Um, but this is just um, food after the movie. They have these really good macaroons. And um, Candace, what'd you think of the movie? Fire. After food, we ran into Brentman Rock, who is one of my all-time faves, and he remembered me from last time we met, so I know I'm gonna run into him another time, and we will be real friends one day. Day three was all about food. We started the day at Sugar Taco, which is an all-vegan Mexican restaurant that had lots of gluten-free options, so pretty much heaven for me. So I got this sharing size nachos that had vegan cheese, black beans, pico de gallo, guacamole, vegan sour cream, cilantro, and some of the best fake meat I've ever had. And of course, it was so good, I ate the whole thing myself. Where are you eating this? Chicken waffles. Yes, I want real meat. So we're walking back to the hotel now to grab our stuff and then move over to the Airbnb. This was the Airbnb that we rented, and I've been seeing layouts like these a lot, and it's pretty trendy in Japan right now to have what they call pod hotels. It has a kitchen and a common area, and then the rooms are stacked and shaped like pods. And this is a clip of ours after we messed it up getting ready for a basketball game, so sorry I didn't take that clip earlier. And this is what I wore to the game with a yellow sweatshirt on top. It was a Nets versus Lakers game, and it was very close the whole time. They kept going back and forth until the end when the Nets won, and all of the LA people were sad, but we weren't. <laughs> Okay. 
after that, we got Thai food. I got tofu pad thai and my favorite dessert, sweet coconut rice and mango. And Candace got chicken pad thai. I'm absolutely obsessed with Thai food and I look for places specifically with this dessert because it's that good. Day four, I had some work to do during the day. So Candace did her thing and then at night we went out for pizza. Then I met up with one of my best friends for a drink and Thai food, the exact same thing I ate yesterday. My friend Colin just moved to LA from my neighborhood in Brooklyn and I'm still really sad he just up and abandoned me like that. What do you have to say about that? It's disheartening. Bushwick's a wonderful place. But I hope you enjoy LA. Thank you. I can't stress enough how good this dessert is. And after dinner, I got another one to go and I'm not even kidding, I'm just out of control. Day five, I went to visit my friend, Matt, who lives in Woodland Hills and to see the new place. It looks great, Matt. Good work to your interior designer because I know you didn't decorate it. And every time we hang out, somehow someone takes this thing out. So obviously we were gonna play with it, but turns out I'm no good at physical games, just emotional ones. Come here, let's pose for a picture. She's like trying to bite my arm. <laughs> Come on. Oh, what is this? Oh, I'm happy with this. Hi. Oh. <laughs> okay, but why is she crawling? Like it's her? like it for huskies. It's like purring. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh. Okay. This is what she's normally like. <laughs> <laughs> We watched Outbreak and then went to the store to get some watermelon popsicles. Also my first time seeing empty grocery store aisles, so that was weird. Then I got the same Thai food again <laughs> and watched Love is Blind until 6 a.m. Day six was our last day, so we checked out of the Airbnb. We just left the Airbnb and we're at my friend Caitlin's work. She works in movies, so right now their building is under construction. We're just waiting for her to come down and then we're gonna go get some food and I don't know what else we're doing, but we're gonna do something. Plus I'm like super hungry. I've been so hungry this whole trip. I've been eating everything. Caitlin! Hi! How are you guys? She smells good. Yeah. She smells good. You guys can come. Yay. We can. Yes. Okay. Cool. But no, no camera. Okay. They're editing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're headed out to get some food. Caitlin, where are we going? <laughs> We're fresh on sunset. There's only one in the United States. Really? Yeah. And it's on sunset. Yes. There's the Tinder headquarters. Thanks, Caitlin. Oh, you're welcome. This place is so cute. <laughs> It's so kind. It's kind of makes me sick. Huh? Is it warm in here? Our food just came. I got like a, a Buddha bowl type thing or it looks like kind of uh, like a burrito bowl but like more meaty than that. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, cauliflower tacos. Mm. They look sexy. Nope. And those are the best fries you'll ever eat. These. Why are they the best? Yeah. They look good. They make them with but... love. <laughs> What's that? I've never experienced that before. I What'd you get? I got a salad. <laughs> no, we got soup and salad. I got soup and salad because I'm and, based. And these, what are these things? Uh, so flatbread. Uh, I don't know. I forgot. Hey, hey, are, we, are we doing cheers? Cheers to good times with good people. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. we just got the water and the fries. <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> All of us though. liked our, our food and the fries, except for Caitlin. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. You had like most of your food on your plate. And I he did. was like, are you done doing a box? And she's like, you can just take it. Matt and I watched Love is Blind last night until like 6 a.m. And I decided to show Caitlin and Candace. So we are watching Love is Blind. Again, my second day in a row watching this, but it does um, get better with wine. It does! Searching for your soulmate. So let's see if they find their soulmate. Who thinks that someone's gonna find a soulmate this episode? We'll see. Are we talking about them or me? Or us? How are we gonna find a soulmate on this show? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm the only one who doesn't have a boo. <laughs> 
Caitlin fell asleep. She's snoring right now. All my cards are on the table. I literally have nothing left to play. I'm gonna end up with that. The easy stuff comes so easy. It's just Barnett or bus. Like that's. A couple hours later, we caught our mostly empty plane back to New York City and Candace fell asleep instantly. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and checking out my other socials down below. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and we'll see you in the next video.